My name is Peter Steffen. I'm a CPA and a tax resolution specialist. I have clients who owe between $25,000 and $172 million to the IRS or the state. They also have unfiled returns, bookkeeping issues, accounting issues, and the like. If you're a CPA, enrolled agent, or bankruptcy attorney, take five minutes and hear me out. I get into the tax controversy business by accident, like many of us do, 25 years ago. I had a client who owned a restaurant and the IRS paired locked the door. Customers showed up the next day and couldn't get into the restaurant. So I got into the business by default. I wanted to try to serve my client so I wouldn't lose the accounting and tax work for the restaurant client. Well, that opened up the door to an entirely new area of tax, the tax controversy, tax resolution business. Why would you want to get into this business? Well, first of all, the rates are higher than in our usual accounting and tax practice. So you can charge between four and $500 an hour or more if you get into the tax controversy business. The second reason would be you want to have this resource to offer your client so that you don't lose the client because he goes to someone like me who can not only handle his tax controversy matter, his tax resolution matter, but also his traditional tax and accounting needs. Why lose control of one of your current clients because either you don't do this kind of work or you don't have the resource to refer the client to? Now, mind you, we don't steal clients that are referred to us by CPAs, EAs, or bankruptcy attorneys. What we do is we fix their problem and we turn them back over to you clean. And then you move on and are able to bill them and do the routine, traditional, and accounting work as always. If you can't solve the problem, what's the result? Well, the client may go out of business. The client may get entered into a installment agreement, for example, that they can't handle. So again, the result is that the client goes out of business. It doesn't work for anyone, especially you, as the CPA, EA, or attorney, if the client is no longer actively in business. I have seen so many CPAs, EAs, and the like tackle this kind of work because they all think that because they do what we call assessment work, that is, they file tax returns, the tax returns get audited, and either they get good at audits or they don't, and no one notices anyway because less than 1% of, the, of returns get audited. They think that revenue agents, the auditors, the people at the IRS who add income or disallow expenses are the same as revenue officers. Nothing can be further from the truth. Revenue agents add tax. At the end of the audit, they say, can you pay? When you say no, they say, have a great day, and they send it to collection. Collection is handled by revenue officers. It's important to know that the revenue officers don't know much about assessment, at least the majority of them, 95 plus percent, don't know tax audit procedures, and revenue agents who handle audits don't know much about revenue officers' work, which is tax collection procedures. In fact, there's a whole section of the IRM devoted to collection. You can probably figure that revenue officers, the collectors, are more aggressive than revenue agents, believe it or not. Remember, you're dealing with the largest, most powerful collection agency in the world. Either way, what I'm suggesting to you is you need to have this resource. Why would you want to lose control of one of your clients because you can't offer this to them or you don't have someone that knows how to do this work where they'll be pleased and come back to you at the end of the day.
So you might be saying to yourself, why should I bother getting into this business? Well, aside from higher fees, client retention, new revenue stream, you really need to know how you're going to take care of these IRS and state problems. Let me give you an example. I had a, uh, a woman from Ohio call me. She was an EA charging $75 an hour. By the time she went through our program and, uh, and, and used our consulting services, we worked cases with her. She's now doing tax resolution work at $200 an hour. She's doubled or tripled her income. I know every time I speak with her, which is now once or twice a year on a consulting basis only, she can't thank me enough. It's up to you. Either learn how to do the work, we can teach you how to do that, or learn how to work in conjunction with us here at the Tax Resolution Institute so that you can service and properly maintain your clients. In my next videos, you're going to, you're going to see how we took that $4 million liability and ground it down to five grand. How we took a $500,000 liability and ground it down to $1,085. How we took $279,000 for $1,050. We have dozens and dozens of examples, and those are only offers in compromise only. There are at least a dozen other areas of tax resolution, tax controversy, that you can be practicing in. Everything from installment agreements, to subordination agreements, to bulk sales, to innocent spouse relief. The list goes on and on. Check out our next video for the specifics on how these things are accomplished. Again, my name is Peter Steffen. I've been doing this work for over 25 years, and I'm the director at the Tax Resolution Institute. Mm -hmm.